Good morning guys. So just got a taxi out to this waterfall area. Apparently it's supposed to be pretty magnificent. It's called Yeti Gozel waterfall. And somebody's cooking food and it smells delicious. Anyway, just walking up all these steps and see where it takes us. Got a taxi ride here. Wasn't a larder. I was really disappointed. Maybe on the way back I can get a larder. Good to be in the nature. So I made it to the top, had to climb like, I don't know, a couple hundred stairs maybe. And uh, you can see in the background, this is as far as it goes as I can see. I might kind of just jump the fence and climb up here. There's a few tourists around. From what I was talking to my host, my apartment host, and from what I've seen, they're mainly from Arab countries, you know, Qatar, Dubai, Saudi Arabia and the surrounding countries as well. I haven't really seen many kind of western looking tourists around. Kind of undiscovered. I think it's well known though in the Arab world but not uh, other places. So I'll try to get up this hill. Made it up quite a few levels of waterfalls here two or three little ones and then made it to the big one. It was a bit dodgy coming up there, a bit steeper than I thought. There's nobody else up here. I got the place to myself. I might be doing something extremely stupid and you can quote me saying this later, but I've just set up a landing pad. Gonna try and get some aerial shots of this place. Hopefully I can fly it out of here and up there. I'm not going to go too far, but I just want to get that perspective, you know. So uh, wish me luck and let's get in the sky again. Success guys, and that was kind of scary. Got some good shots I think. I didn't want to go too high because I didn't want to lose my location because I had to manually fly it down through the trees and then come back this way. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. There's points and you're like, am I ever gonna see it again? So yeah, getting better with the drone and as you can see, beautiful location around here. So lush and green and stunning. You can see the city of Gabela in the background there and then the mountains this way. Big mountains at the back there behind this mountain. I think we're gonna head down now. There's always birds trying to like swarm the drone. I think they're just interested in it, but anyway, soaked. Let's head down, um, hopefully in one piece. All right guys, made it down alive. Came back to where like the tourist lookout area was. It's a shame I couldn't bring the camera, but it's just so good to be back out in that like wild nature. You know, music and just running around the hills, going down these cliffs. That's really what makes me happy in life, you know. And I haven't done it in so long. People ask me what I miss from New Zealand all the time. I always say it's like the nature, you know, just the how easy it is to get to. Don't get me wrong, many other countries have cool nature, but that's what I miss uh, on a regular basis. So I'm going to try and in the coming videos spend a bit more time in nature but it's still cool to visit cities and stuff but I think you need the nature for your for your peace of mind it's like drugs it brings your head back down to a level and whew. so now I'm just walking along this road a few taxi drivers tried to uh, charge me a bit much so I'm just walking maybe I can hitchhike because there's a huge lake up here somewhere and I'm gonna try and track it down but do you see that beautiful green ladder a little bit better than dope is a brand new kid to show biz with knowledge I persevere but by now do me a favor let me in here and we can find the rhyme to fill in space and drop the bass with a taste of light lyric of affection see I'm equipped to open your mind like a crib
Christmas gift. Oh, and something I forgot to mention. When I came back down, there was a girl walking down those stairs. There was really steep stairs, and she was wearing high heels. So, oh, today we're going to the waterfall, so I think I'll wear high heels. Oh, I'm just going to the lake. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Sahu. Sahu, Sahu. So, just waited a couple of minutes, and those nice guys picked me up. They were asking if the music was okay or do we want to change it. It's like, it's your car, you're giving me the ride. Really friendly people. Reminds me of last summer when I was in Georgia and Armenia. Just people picking you up all the time and super friendly and accommodating. Anyway, check out this lake. Pretty beautiful. I think I'm going to find a location and uh, get number two battery out for the drone. This looks like an epic place to fly the drone and, and I don't have to fly it in through a waterfall and underneath trees. So. Ooh, Azerbaijan, you are beautiful. So calming and relaxing. And then over here there's heaps of tables and there's a restaurant and there's a bar and it's just in this really calm nature place. It's... Love it. Alright guys, so I just met some local students. They're studying tourism and they've come to the lake. What do you guys have to say? Uh, welcome and hello to New Zealand. Have a nice hello. day. Have a nice day. I need, I need energy, you know? Welcome, 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 welcome. That's better. Thanks guys. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thanks. Nice to meet you. See ya. Those are the same guys that gave me the ride before. So kind. So how about those shots guys? What a beautiful place. It's like Switzerland, you know, but a quarter of the price, maybe less. Really beautiful. You could spend a lot of time here exploring. I'm sure there's other amazing nature spots around here. Look, there's little frogs playing around. Anyway, I might try and hitchhike back to the house. It's been a pretty full day. Met quite a few locals. Got the drone up twice. Hopefully the footage comes out okay. Do you see that huge kind of chalet hotel over in the distance? That looked pretty beautiful. Alright guys, let's try our luck at hitchhiking again. So far so good. It's okay? Come on. Uh, Gabella? No, no. Cool. Gabella. Safo. And to top it off, got the last hitchhike in a larder. Just to put the cherry on top of the cake. I was not expecting that day to go that well. It was uh, super nice. Relaxing, adventurous. Met locals, got some good footage. Epic guys, great day. Probably my favorite day in Azerbaijan yet. So it'll be hard to beat that one, but which direction do I go? These streets are so beautiful. Just these little village streets. Chickens clucking, big green hills, old cars in the distance. Beautiful. All right guys, this is exactly where I needed to be and I'm here. Uh, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Still in your ear